Kapoor. The name Yom Kapoor means Day of Atonement. And that pretty much explains what the holiday is. It is a day set aside to affect the God describes all of our names on young people. The judgment entered, and these books is sealed. This day is essentially your last appeal, your last chance, your last chance to change the judgment, to demonstrate your repentance and make amends. Days of all, young Kapoor atones only for sins between men and man and God, not for sins against him. Another person to see. stone for sins against another person. You must first seek recon reconciliation with that person, righting the wrongs you committed against them if possible. That must all be done before Yom Kippur. And here on the page that says, Happy Yom Kippur. Good job. So more in the book. So earlier, Henry colored in this, which is the Book of Life. Because you want to be inscribed in the Book you of Life. You want to be inscribed in the Book of Life. Um, and last thing um, is the shofar, shofar, right here. And here the show, and here it explains um, when you do the service. The last part of the Yom Kippur service is one long blast of the shofar. But they're coloring again now. They're, Penny's helping Sissy color hers. Penny colored his So earlier. here it shows a few things that you should not do. And These are you, things you should not do. Let's all pay attention. You should never play with fire. Um, you shouldn't try to scare people. Um, you should definitely not use slingshots unless you're like outside in a field. Slingshots would hurt people. Fire's dangerous, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, you could like, um, you shouldn't play with scissors. You shouldn't play with scissors, because that's very dangerous. And you shouldn't, um, like fight with people or bully others. Here are things that you should do. So these good deeds help get you inscribed in the Book of Life. You could give people things, um, climbing trees, um, safely and happily. Maybe with a friend or someone. Um, playing with someone, maybe like um, there's like eating and, and watching something with someone. Here is also playing with someone, feeding birds, um, folding your laundry, and those are things that you could do to be inscribed in the book of life. Very good. Say thank you to Brother Jordan. Thank you. And he made you this beautiful book that you get to keep, and it's your Yom Kippur book. Say Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. I want an apple. Eat apple. <laughs> I want an apple. Oh, I remember last lesson. Yes, we ate apples for um, Rosh Hashanah. But on Yom Kippur, we fast. The adults fast, unless you have a an illness that prevents you from fasting, or if you're a kid. Kids don't have to fast. But, well, um, I might like skip like breakfast or lunch next time. Okay, that would be a good start. So by the age of thirteen, then you are part of the fasting after you after your bar mitzvah. Right? Yeah. You, you have to observe as an adult. And then you will look forward to, just like the adults, breaking the fast at the end of Yom Kippur, which we will do in about three hours. Three or four hours. It's 2.30 now. So that means you break this. And you break the fast with a big festive meal, right? Yeah. With a nice festive meal. Six or seven. So, thank you for helping out with this lesson plan. You did great. 
and happy bath.